week two of the National Football League. And we'll be watching the Patriots' superstar wide receiver. There were no answers for him a week ago, going well over 100 yards with several stops in the end zone. It's the Patriots and the Bills coming up next. It's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the New England Patriots. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. Well, the silver lining from last week, he played phenomenally. You know these NFL quarterbacks, though. They trade away all those touchdowns if it meant getting the win. That's his focus this week. That'll be caught. Right? And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. There he goes, right side. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. Now Allen going right side here, and that's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Throwing on first down is Allen. His throw caught at about the five. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. So the shotgun snap to Allen. This is caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the game of five. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready. Touchdown, Bills! A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Bills will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt, that one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before. I think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. So out comes the Patriots offense as they'll get their first shot at things here. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book. He's an asset to have in any offense. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school. And one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and four. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. 
One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Beringer on to punt for the Patriots. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. This is taken at about the 14. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But you look at this Patriots defense. And they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. And you see the starting unit here, but really, you're going to see a lot of different personnel, a lot of different packages as they rotate in and out throughout the game. So the completion good for six yards. And now that sets up third and two. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 54 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Big Christian Barmore was there on the tackle. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. Here's Hallett. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. Here's Allen to throw it. And that will be incomplete. This defense, they came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Here comes Antonio Gibson as he's set for another drive. And a week ago, as you get a look at the numbers, well over 100 yards, he was on fire. He was on fire. Obviously, the offensive line was on fire. All the guys who were trying to assist him. But you know who else was? The play caller. Because his ego totally got out of the way. And he kept calling the plays that were working over and over. And they really didn't stop him. Now the challenge. Can they duplicate it? I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Short pass caught by Henry. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. The Patriots at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind and the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they wind up getting four there on fourth and one. On first down, right back to Gibson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 
That good for 22 and a first down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part. Just powering them down there. Another nice burst there. Picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll drop to throw. And this is good. Touchdown, Patriots. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, with this rookie QB, we talked a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Well, now how about this return? Now he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Throwing now is Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Hands it off out of the gun. Able to slither by. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 70 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Now here's a handoff out of the gun, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, this defense for the Pats, terrific last week in the season opening victory. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Allen's throw is complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. That one good for 26 and a first down. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. 7-7, our score after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. This taken in by Kincaid. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. From eight yards out, and the Bills have taken the lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Bass on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. 
And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this one's incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll run with Gibson. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's brought down. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. They'll look to throw. And he'll find Gibson here complete. Oh, good move. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave them with a third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw here. He's got his running back out of the backfield. Well, the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. They'll look to throw again. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry with an amazing diving catch. And the Patriots are an extra point away from evening this one up. Zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron, had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Extra point by Rylan, up and good, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Bills going to take over again on offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They run a draw here on second down. And 
and down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 82 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Now, that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wider... Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. New England trying to get to place on offense. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with his better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence they're going to put more points up on the board. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. They'll set up to throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. Now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. They'll look to throw now on first down. They're hitting Juju on the slant. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. They'll go. It's Gibson. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? Just Touchdown, Patriots! A great play there. With the second touchdown of the game and fifth of the year. And the Patriots have moved out in front. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of his NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Extra point by Ryland. Up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, 
you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And he is caught, and he is going to have a Bills first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Here's Allen on first and ten. That is caught. Kincaid with it. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll bring them back within four. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. We right, saw a couple Coach, of high thanks. octane yeah, offenses teams getting it done in the first half. Changes both teams had no problem throwing the football. Point. And you have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who no walks run out of here for Jones, with a, a victory. Touchback. So here are the Patriots to take over. They were able to defeat Houston last week. They lead things here as well as they try to make it two victories in a row. Second half starts with a run by Gibson. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now think you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try to pick it up on third down. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and oh. Here's first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. And nowhere to hide on that play. No, there was not because every exit door, that was surrounded. I think that was supposed to be a bootleg, but he had no chance to get outside the pocket and try and make a play. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. A give to Gibson running right. Powering forward. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 111 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ball on the 27. Here's second and a yard. At the 27-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got a man. That's caught left side line. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. Well executed 22 yard game. And he's 
certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Yeah, not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. A carry here for the big tight end. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. A couple extra tight ends are in. Third and goal from the one. They're going to run this with a tight end. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call there, opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 15 yards that time. And a Buffalo first. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. There's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. They'll start on the ground with Gibson to the 22-yard line. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he gets this up past the 30. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Gibson again. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. 
The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Taking it about the 16. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the Bills getting set to go. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? That one goes for 24 yards. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll go over the middle to Reed complete. So the completion good for seven there. And now we've got a third and four. To the air, Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 31-yard line. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. Now this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. Now they trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. to throw it's Allen quick hitter here it's complete and he'll work free from one tackle but that's about all as he's taken down second and five now Allen and he gets it all the way down inside the ten and mark him at the five Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Well, oh, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Eva, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes. Ski and he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. So the Patriots coming out now. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news Plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, as we all know, possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. 
They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage? In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Micah Hyde comes flying in from safety for the sack. The Patriots send out their punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And taken at the 46. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here with a first and ten. Here's Hallett. To the right side here, caught by Kincaid. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. That's a good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Allen's throw is complete, and he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Allen off the play fake. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Bills have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Did you see them hold up four fingers at the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And they will take a seven-point lead now. That time, a six-play drive, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And now out come the Patriots. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or left. And got his man complete. Big play there for New England. And even 40 yards. Well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been wrapped up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Complete. Hunter Henry with the ground. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. He'll look to throw. 
And he fires one incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now. Those are precious, so you have to learn from those and in a hurry. Well, look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Allen. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And he will have a Bills first down, and that should be that. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself, and that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. down to a knee and that should just about do it good bounce back win they take the knee can't stop the clock defensively tough opening week loss but now one and one shows that they handled things really well a lot of teams panic after a week one loss and they start to think that the sky's falling this team realizes there's a long season and they feel very talented and they get it done in this one that was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. But they obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come-from-behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So for Buffalo, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for New England, they will fall to one and one, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gunn. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.